capo. Hello my Taurus friends, it's Guy and Halo here. <clears throat> this is going to be a full moon reading for you guys. It's going to resonate, well it can resonate anytime I guess, but I'm going to set the intention that it will resonate until the 20th, so you got five days. We'll see what's going on here for you guys. With this full moon, some energy some of you might be facing, situationships and what the Divine's got planned for you to move forward with. Could be working on a new home. A new foundation, stability, perhaps stability with a child who's an Aries Leo Sagittarius, bringing stability to that situation. We got the Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor. Standing up for yourself and your beliefs and all that you've created. Feeling a little bit defensive, perhaps, or maybe unsure of a decision you've made, or feeling like you have to stand up for a decision you've made. People around you might think you're crazy, but you're feeling a little bit leery and concerned. You're concerned. Are you concerned that this choice may not end well for you or this choice you've made could be a tower moment perhaps? What's crossing you here from getting past all of this, my Taurus friends? The magician. So, starting this new creative thing that you want to do, you know you can do it. But the magician is crossing you, and new creative project is this new creative thing is process crossing you. So it's something you want to do, and you're just not sure how to bring it about. The wheel of fortune spins in your favor to bring actually to bring this tower moment I believe so that you have nothing crossing you <clears throat> I gotta get some more clarifiers here turns into a longer reading than necessary but it is what it is so someone coming to offer you love or some say something that's been em is emotional for them or for you but I think you're going to decide no because you're very leery about this person. I get this is a person that you've known before. You want to create something new and you want creative new starts. But I think what you've been desiring this whole time, I just saw the Hierophant flip over. And before that was the, the I don't remember what the other one was. Then we had the soulmate and then we had the emperor. This is someone who's coming to offer you something and I think what's crossing you is you've got your mind set on the new. You don't see fruition with anybody in your life other than the new and creating that new thing and bringing new abundance and new creative ideas into your life. But that's what's crossing you. What this tower moment is in an out and out offer for love. That's what this tower moment is. <clears throat> Let's get one more card for this tower, please. Now, are you going to decide to say no to this emotional offer here because of this is what's crossing you? Or are you going to bring a tower moment for both of you? Well, whatever it is, there's been a broken heart here in the past and not too recent past actually with a soulmate yet. And there's going to be healing coming your way. All right, so let's see what the divine wants you to do, to know, to hear, to listen to. This magician and page of wands could be about creating magic in a situation with Aries Leo Sagittarian energy. Could be a child or a soulmate, perhaps. The spirit whisperer, divine guidance and higher knowing. So this is all about finding balance, listening to the divine. You know in your gut that something is just, you don't have everything 
you need yet, but you know that you feel the way you feel for a reason. You know you feel that way. You're not going to veer off of that trajectory, and I think it's going to be a tower moment for somebody when you tell them no. I think people are very concerned about how you're going to make your money and what you're going to do. Perhaps you're changing jobs, changing trajectories, and there's a lot of people that might think you're a little on the crazy side, but you've got a plan here. Yes, you do. And your plan is to let divine guidance lead the way. Card number three. As an ally, the spirit whisperer comes to you, heralding the miraculous and the inspired. She whispers guidance from the divine through your higher self or higher senses so that you can hear wisdom and know her love for you. She is committed to helping you intuit the next right action and steer you away from trouble. The spirit whisperer keeps you inspired to move forward, always knowing just in time the correct next step. She guides you to fulfill your highest purpose. When she appears, it's a sign of inspired ideas that with continual action lead to success. There's a, this is a very good omen. If your question is about a relationship, the spirit whisperer speaks of, of soul connections, past lives, and great learning through mutual mirroring. She will whisper how long, how short, how deep, and how sweet the relationship can be. There were soul bargains made even before... You were both born here, and an exploration is in order. You may move forward, but keep listening to the spirit whisperer for the lessons that the vulnerability of love brings. As a challenger, the spirit whisperer warns that you've, you're about to go astray. You need her guidance. Red flags are waving, and you must pay attention, lest you find yourself cleaning up messes you didn't even know you made. She challenges you to start again. And trust your intuition in time, you will be back on track. On this occasion, you can't possibly go wrong since you are that much more aware of the possible cha challenges you need to step away from. If this is about a relationship, you may be repeating something in your past that you don't need to relearn. Stay away, as this may end up a costly distraction. That said, lessons learned over and over make a great wisdom later. Make for great wisdom later. So if you truly feel that someone from the past is coming back and you know that you know that you know this person is not for you, you're, what's crossing you from, from, from taking that opportunity is understanding that you have everything in your arsenal to create what you desire and to start with a new creative passionate project and the old is just nowhere near for you you want the new and anyone that comes in to say hey you're gonna be like uh uh no 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 i'm i'm about to create something awesome i'm sorry nope i must protect that which i'm about to create you're gonna get the oust i'm you know it's just the way it is i got i got a plan i got something i gotta do and it's, it has nothing to do with the old you're taking a new cup of love it's gonna bring healing to your soul and this soulmate doesn't know it yet, but healing to them. Because in some way, your your past lives, your whatever that you've spent with this soulmate, are tied up in this new creation that you've got planned. There is always more than one side to an argument. Two sides, if not more, to every story. And hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach. This experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how, how an ultimate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe. Discern. But accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys, and some people might refuse to remain open to another's point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things. Once common ground is reached, you're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. You guys are totally on the... On the stepping stone to the new you totally are now in being on that stepping stone to the new it doesn't matter that you throw the baby out with the or it doesn't mean that you throw the baby out with the bathwater. 
It totally matters because I'm telling you, there's past karmic experiences, there's past life experiences that may very well flow into this beautiful new thing you've got to go in that you've got going on and it's very possible I'm getting that this person coming to you speaking of emotional something doesn't have to be love okay let me put that right out there right now it could be about business it could be about emotion about how you made them feel at some certain time it could be a friend even this person coming to you is part of this trajectory forward and perhaps that's part of what this tower is as well it could be your realization that bam this cup of love and this healing can't happen unless this connection with this soulmate is brought to the fore now like I said not about love or love romance relationships this could be about two people working in tandem with the divine to bring about something for the mass collective that is beautiful 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 and you know you are on that stepping stone you know you are on that stepping stone that trajectory of the brand new oh yeah you do i think you're all excited about it too i feel your energy it's like let's go let's go let's go i'm not sure where i'm going but let's do it <laughs> y'all take care i'll talk to you again soon